Welcome to the Sussex Historic Tour, otherwise known as the Historic Deckertown Tour. I'm Jane McHugh and I'm with the Friends of the Sussex Wantage Library. This project was started about three years ago uh, with a very dedicated group of individuals uh, who worked compiling all the information. So get your map out and take a walk with me. Our first stop is the Sussex Inn, offering elegant dining and 40 rooms for guests. Free hack to all trades. The Sussex Inn, first named the Union House, was once the site of a log house that in 1749 served as the area's first school. In 1848, it was a tailor shop, blacksmith shop, store. Historic photos are displayed inside. Next to the Sussex Inn and walking down Main Street is the Van Sickle Building. Built in 1870, it once housed an undertaker, furniture store, pole hall, boot maker, laundry, bowling alley, jewelry store, and in 1902, the office for the phone company. Note its long front columns in the Neo-Grecian style. Sussex's first brick building, Hornbeck Hall, was built in 1876. Its bricks were kilned on Clove Avenue. A large third floor room seated 700 and was used for events and entertainment groups. Hornbeck's lumber yard was on the corner. Note the hitching post in the photo. Union Block on Main Street housed the first post office, grange, jeweler, drugstore, and hardware store. A farmer's market was behind it later. The Farmers National Bank of Deckertown was on the corner from 1886 having first opened on Bank Street in the building now occupied by Pinkle's Funeral Home. On the corner of Newton Avenue and Route 23 once stood W.R. Miller's Blacksmith and Wheelwright Shop. In 1916 it housed Sussex Sales and Service, the first Ford dealership in the county. Another blacksmith shop on Mill Street, Trudgeons, was later a Pontiac dealer. Next to W.R. Miller's blacksmith shop was the Decatron Marble Works, which began in 1872, after the Vilbert Hotel burned in 1868. It later became the site of Morrison's Hotel and Luncheonette in 1903. The Sussex block contained Potter's Double Store and Ed Sol's Variety Bargain Store for hardware, groceries, and dry goods. Further down Main Street, right past Wolf Granite Works, stood the Booth Brothers Knife Factory, which was built in 1888. It has housed other businesses, including Ewald Brothers Shoes. In 1901, a fire collapsed the top floor, and in 1937, it burned to the ground. A.E. Wolf Granite Monuments was built in 1873 and is still in operation. Next to that we find the Fountain Square Inn, which was built in 1823 by the grandson of Peter Decker, oldest operating hotel in the county. Earlier names were Chardevoins, De Camp House, Christmas House, and in 1900, Gobel Inn. See its fountains for the horses with a lower basin for the dogs. Across the street on Unionville Avenue, once stood the Sussex Independent newspaper, printed in 1870 to 1952. Its weekly subscription was $2 a year. There was a barber shop in the basement. The Crescent Theater was built in 1917 and showed silent movies, vaudeville acts, and other forms of entertainment. On opening night, 800 people watched the movie Miss George Washington and heard a 14-piece Sussex Orchestra. It's the only Sussex building so far on the state and national registry of historic sites. Harrison Street School, built in 1903 for $16,000, was on Academy Hill overlooking the borough. During World War II, it was a lookout site for enemy planes. This school replaced an earlier private school, built in 1833, at this site, known as the Rankins Deckertown Classical Academy. Farmers Union Telephone Company was established in 1902 as a merger of three companies. Between 1916 and 1928, it operated from Dr. Haggerty's Dental's office in the corner building shown, which was later raised to extend the park area and the gazebo. Cannon Block was built in 1872. 
It has housed over the years a drugstore, jewelry store, barber, meat market, millinery store, confectionery, and ice cream store, and an A&P. The Old Stone Bakery is one of the earliest buildings in town. A one-horse covered wagon used to deliver its fresh baked goods. It was built in 1843 as a blacksmith shop. Sussexboro Hall, with the police station and jail, was built here in 1926, adding to the firehouse. The old jail was moved to Space Farms for their bear house. Across the street, we find the First Baptist Church of Wanage. In 1756, it formed near Hamburg with services in nearby locations, then moved to Deckertown, where the church was built in 1883. Always ready and willing, the Walk Hill Hose Company and Protection Hook and Ladder Company were organized in 1896 in response to the many fires, especially the devastating Main Street Fire in 1886. The firehouse was the second oldest firehouse in the county. In 1913, it was moved across the street to become part of Borough Hall. Later, Weed's Diner was built there, which then turned in eventually to Prout's Diner. Get your Studebaker at the Sussex Garage. Built in 1911, it was the first auto repair shop in the county. Later, it became a Chevrolet dealer. The Lehigh and New England Railroad Spur came into town in 1896. It serviced the Creamery, Mills and Roy Company, and Lawrence and Hardin Lumber Company, later becoming Consolidated Lumber. The station became the Whistle Stop Thrift Store. The Horton and Lewis Creamery, built in 1903, was one of three local creameries that bottled milk and shipped it by train to New York City. It processed 88,000 quarts of milk daily. It closed in 1970 and was converted into apartments and offices. Sealy Select School, built in 1885, was made into a hospital in 1918, named for local doctor Alexander Lynn, later part of the St. Clair's Health System. New York Susquehanna and Western Railroad Depot, built in 1872 as the NJ Midland Railroad. It serviced creameries and lumber yards such as Decker and Simmons and the GLF Farm Store, which later became Agway. The Harrison House next to the depot was a hotel and restaurant. It became Linwood Nursing Home, which burned in 2001. This first St. Monica Roman Catholic Church was built in 1881. It was blown down in the 1888 blizzard. Subsequent buildings were replaced by the Brick Church, built in 1952. The first Presbyterian Church of Sussex was founded in 1839 as the third Presbyterian Church of Wanage. You can see its large stained glass Deckertown window on the front of the church. The Sussex United Methodist Church was built in 1857 as the Wanage Methodist Episcopal Church. Earlier members worshipped in their homes. This was the site of the first grist mill built by Samuel Decker. In 1885, it was a blacksmith shop and is said to be one of the oldest buildings in town. The Wanage Recorder newspaper operated here from 1894 to 1944. Later, it housed the Sussex Wanage Press. This was the site of the 1862 condensory for making evaporated milk and ice house. You can see Newton Avenue in the background. This building burned down in 1933. Thank you for joining us for our historic Sussex walking tour. We encourage you to take the brochure, take the walk, see the sites, and let's keep history alive together in Sussex, New Jersey.